We're going to refinish the Tali guitar body today. This is the brown and yellow on a Port Orford Cedar that I did a couple months ago. It got damaged in the move. This was finished in this gunstock oil. Actually pretty tough finish so it took me a while to sand this down. Been playing around with a lot of different paints since the move and I'm going to try a trick here today that I'm going to explore in other videos as well. I'm going to spray a little bit of water after I'm done sanding to pick up the grain and I'm going to use this white washable paint to do a white wash and really get that lighter color to pop out. So I'm going to take this water soluble white paint and rub it in and this is going to help get a little bit lighter color tint across the wood. And You can see what I've been playing with up above. I wanted to try this with a sort of a yellow and a brown and see what happens. So we'll rub this in, let it sit, wipe it off, let it dry, and then you got this nice sort of white faded look. And I've got 600 grit sandpaper here and I'm going to just pull off some of that color. go through and change the grid a couple of times here and then I'm gonna go with Angelus light brown and yellow these are leather dyes you can see the link below to purchase these dyes I'm gonna take the yellow and rub it right on I'm gonna get it nice and thick and I'm gonna turn the rag because there's still a little bit of brown left from the sandbag So we'll cover the whole top in yellow, get it to soak in nicely. And this Port Orford Cedar really has some beautiful figure and it really has a, a smell. The whole garage smells of the cedar wood when I'm working on this stuff. Incredibly figured, beautiful piece of wood. So we'll go back with this light brown and I diluted it just a little bit and we'll go ahead and fade this in. What's interesting with the white base, the yellow, this sort of turns into a little bit of a red. And I apply the brown secondarily here because I wanted to get that fade. And cedar actually soaks up the stain pretty quick here. So I gotta go back and, and sort of re-clean it up and I've got a really hard line. And so over the next couple minutes here, I'm gonna spend some time actually cleaning this up and getting that red to pull it through the grain and, and not have such a hard line. So here we'll go through with that yellow and continue to feather that brown in. And you can see that hard line over there on the left. And I'll just continue to feather, 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 and it'll pull, th pull through. So now you can see the line is starting to disappear. And that last bit really pulled the color through and you just don't have that hard line. So I'll go through, clean this all up, make sure the color's even. Then we'll let this sit. Rub a little bit more brown on the outside, a little bit more yellow. And this is it dry. And we'll get some 600 grit and pull a little bit of the color off. And I'm gonna go through a couple pieces of 600 grit here. The cedar has a lot of oils in it and you can see it really grab onto the paper, and it clumps. So we'll change this out. And what this does is it pulls that color through. And there's so much clumping that I actually went with some steel wool to pull some of this color out. So I got some OO steel wool here. We'll go back to the sand paper here, 600 grit. And then I always find the trick is to apply one last bit of that last color. And so there's the clumping from the oils and the wood. And here's that last bit of yellow. And this really, to me, fires up the top. 
gets all the coloring even and it really really stands out so we'll turn the rag a couple times make sure we're not moving the color around too much and it's looking really nice so we'll let this then sit for 24 hours let the colors dry and then this is shellac sealer on it got to buy some more of that gunstock oil but you could just see how beautiful the top is and the cedar is really amazing really beautiful lots of coloration lots of variation this is flash on and flash off and you can see just how colorful the top is so thanks for watching guys check out my website for more information and see you in the next vid